Nothing catches my eye. Yep. Oh, I wanted to study. Damn it. Hmm. The fog is set in. Oh boy. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Rise has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. August covering the town. And it's Sunday. That wasn't who I thought it was, was it? Something happened. From Chie. D did you hear yet? They found a dead body just outside the shopping district. I don't get it. I mean, we... Look, we're all meeting at Juness. Come over right away. Uh, yeah, will do. You sure that you rescued Rise? It'd be best if you hurried to Juness. Hey, over here! Yosuke went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. <sighs> yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. How could that... That's not all. The victim this time, it was King Moron. It was him. K King Moron? You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? B why What on earth is going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. Um. Uh, what? You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. Damn it! We came so far and now we're back to square one! Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Uh. This might still be too early. What? Damn straight! We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Kanji-kun. I like how he said that. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> I know. We're dealing with a murderer here. But we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. And we promised the bear, too. Hey, that's right! Maybe Teddy knows something about this! Oh. Good, good thinking. Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. Huh? 
There's staff here? Now that's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? About what? There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. Is there some kind of campaign on today? Mascot? He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry? Eddie? Wait, wait, well, wait, wait. there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. But wait, wait, wait. Please don't tell me. Whoa! He's here! Ah, this really hits the spot. <laughs> the, I mean, how'd you... <laughs> it took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Of course I can come out. There's an exit. It just never occurred to me to do it before. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. I did wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back, so I waited here for you. Oh, oh. someone asked for my name, so I told them, I'm Teddy. So that's why. Oh yeah, there's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> and your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone! That's why I came over here! But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. I believe you. Oh, Sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. <laughs> oh no. Well, it's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Moron was never on that side? Uh, what's going on? Hey, hey, I want to go somewhere. Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you want to go, anyway? I want to give this to Risei-chan. It's for her. You received glasses from Teddy. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. So I'm gonna fight alongside you with everything I got. Don't think of me as the same cute little Teddy. I'm an all-new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Today begins the new legend of Teddy! Wow, a new legend. <laughs> Teddy has joined the group as a frontline fighter. He'll definitely be a strong asset in your battle against the shadows. Will he? Okay, we're rank five. Investigation, yep. Uh-oh, people are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Okay. Just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? No clue, but I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Then what? He was killed over here? Probably. Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? They never intended to? They never intended to? So you're saying he wasn't like the other victims to begin with? But why? 
Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Oh, I get you. That could be it. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Risei-chan's up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. Ugh, it's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Cut it out! There's kids watching! Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. Have a little consideration, man. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. <laughs> can I... Can, can I feel it? No! <laughs> Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear! <laughs> I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan, and now I finally have an inside! Yeah, good job with that. Come on, can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you, I'm not hollow anymore! <sighs> it's too hot! I can't stand it! Uh, what? <laughs> it's so hot! <laughs> Um... Uh... Now that hit the spot. Oh, uh... Hey, Chie-chan. Yuki-chan. Okay... Yes? Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Is that really you? Uh... Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Then don't, don't take the bottom part off. You need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. That's... Teddy? <laughs> he said he's not hollow anymore. So, like... He grew himself a body in there? Apparently. Um... Yeah, apparently he grew himself a body. What kind of creature would do that? A metamorphosis? I mean, what is he? Kinda want a suit? You kinda want a suit? I kinda want that suit. <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh, hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Let's head over to Rise's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. Um... Check that. He may not be fine. You went, you went home to change before heading to the shopping district. It's finally the season for Topsicles again! You mean Popsicles? Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. Sorry we're late. How'd it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? Uh, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
I liked you better before. This magnifico. Uh, don't encourage him. <laughs> I have to say, he totally blew my mind. But he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form. Got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. Yukiko, don't coddle him. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. <laughs> oh, man. If you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? Huh? What are you asking me for? <laughs> well, I was just wondering if he was your type. <laughs> oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't funny, Yukiko Senpai. Sorry. Oh no, she's on her laughing fit. Oh, this is this is funny, Kanji. You'll have to forgive Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. Now I definitely hear Sam Regal. Oh my god, that is... Wow. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? <laughs> oh my god. Oh well. You hand over a 1,000 yen pill to Kanji. Here, Kanji. Get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. Wait. Oh, Yosuke. I was just like, I hand it over. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow, you're rich. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. Whoa, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might play <clears throat> differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. Glad Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. Oh dear. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. Charge? What? You put it on my account? Oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's... Oh, dear, that's, uh... Oh, uh, that's, uh... Oh, poor Yosuke. Oh, God. Oh, then stream deck not... Mm. Wait for it, guys. There you go. Wow, poor Yosuke. On that part. What else were we supposed to do? That stuff was expensive, even for Juness. You seriously charged it to me? Why would you do that? You know I just bought a motorcycle, I'm broke! So, if you're already broke, a little more debt isn't gonna make much of a difference. What? Uh, I mean... Come on, baby. Stop fighting over... Shut up! This is your fault, you know! You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Yo, Teddy. Don't let it get you down. <laughs> They're arguing. Let's go get some topsicles. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hi, little bug. Oh, that damn Let's bug. go on ahead. I think they're going to be a while. Yeah.
Yeah. Ah, uh, I had a feeling you'd come. Oh, hello, hat-wearing boy. You're... Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Risei Kujikawa now? Jeez, why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Huh? Wait, you're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Moraoka has never appeared on television. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Well then, until we meet again. Who is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Risei. Oh, hi. Risei-chan! Are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Yep. Well, yeah. Oh, um... Do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Oh. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Huh? Sure, okay. Tatsuhi and Tatsuhime Shrine. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Ah, Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh. He's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Good thinking. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Like, they found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Um, so... Hmm? What's up? Um, I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Well... Huh? Oh, you don't have to thank us. Dude, she's so cute. Uh, Yosuke, calm down. I better get some more sake. bit of sake I have left and then I have nothing left of like whiskey but I don't plan on actually doing what I'm doing right now man it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal mm. you really are reset well I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress so I, I thought you might not like me that way do I sound weird oh but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public I'm sorry I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do what comes naturally. I think everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just one. <laughs> it 
sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Oh yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Um, you don't have to take them, but... Well... Teddy gave you a pair of glasses to hold on to for when Rise joined. But what should mm, you say when giving them to her? Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? Mm, you handed the glasses to Rise. These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. You explain the effect of the glasses to Rise. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. Rise Kuchikawa joined the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Wow. Okay. Investigation team's social link has reached level six. The power to create personas of the pool arcana has grown. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. Oh. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, all right? I won't. I do owe you my life, so, you know. Leave it to me. Your courage has increased. Wow, I didn't realize you were so cool, senpai. This sure is a rough time to transfer here, though. The kidnappings, King Moron's death, all that and exams are soon, too. Oh, exams. Now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be canceled. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Alrighty, then. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Yo, how's it going? Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. Though if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six. So I still win. No one asked. <laughs> hey, it's still good information. Shut up, Yosuke. We're all done talking already. Let's go, senpai. Uh... When did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like Senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> so where's Teddy? He's over there, finishing up his fifth topsicle. What are we gonna do with him? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll take him home. Yeah, because uh, you got to settle something with... Oh, dear. Good evening. This is Nightline News. Our top story for the night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. The serial murder case in Inaba has claimed a third victim. The news shocked local residents, who have not seen another murder in three months, and assumed the spree had reached its end. The deceased taught at a local high school. Since his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last two victims... King Moron's picture is on the news. It seems he really was murdered. What's wrong? Was it... someone you know? <gasps> he died? Nanako seems scared. I'm here with you. You calm Nanako down. Your understanding has increased. Yay! I'm all right. Nanako seems somewhat relieved. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's, where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. The police will be pursuing this line of inquiry and are planning to begin a large-scale investigation tomorrow. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. The news is livelier than usual. 
Dad won't be coming home again today. Nope. Maybe you should try another ma magic trick. You move a finger on your right hand. Or your left hand. Huh? Do it again! <laughs> Do it again! Oh, I know that trick. The, like the, 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 the thumb trick. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> I love the music after it. It moved! Hey, how did you do that? Tell me, tell me! Nanako seems to have cheered up. You put Nanako to bed and decided to call it a night as well. This place. Welcome. It's been quite some time. It seems that you've been called to the Velvet Room. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. How are things proceeding? Are you gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? No. I see. You still have a good deal of time left. I advise you to press on at your own pace. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance to help you achieve just that. Fusing Personas. Have you been using our services diligently? The oh, aid yes. we will henceforth provide is an advanced form of fusion. I speak of the power to fuse four or more personas at once. I am quite certain that this will enable you to command even stronger powers. A new type of fusion is now available. Now, your journey will soon reach its climax. Wait, 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 you just said I still had a great deal of time. Which is it? Is it ending soon or is it ending in a while? And as a result, many challenges, which I cannot foresee at present, await you. Most interesting. <laughs> well, until we meet again, farewell. Yeah, farewell. Rude. Welcome to Monday, guys. Yo! I still can't believe it. Our homeroom teacher was killed. I couldn't get that much sleep yesterday. How about you? Are you alright? I'm okay. Well, if we start getting depressed over something like this, we'll never catch the killer, huh? Hmm. Oh, yeah. This means we'll be getting a new homeroom teacher. I wonder, who, I wonder who it'll be. Well, I'm pretty sure that they won't be able to find anyone worse than King Moron. The classroom is bustling. Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. Good morning. Mrs. Kashiwagi. I'm Noriko Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting today. Ah. Uh... You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you instead. <laughs> Check that. It could get worse. I don't like where this is okay. going at all. Why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka? Close your eyes, everyone. That should be enough. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Nori-chan. <laughs> oh, it must be tough for you. But that's what it means to become an adult, little by little. Aww. I already can't stand her. First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? 
How much worse can it get? Oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? In person? <laughs> She's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? Uh, I hear a hint of jealousy in there. What's so great about an idol, anyway? Right, class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. She's ranting on and on. What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. You can hear your classmates gossiping. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Rise's pinup book. That sounds kind of pervy. He annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. Actually, oh, I you know what? Do as well. Rosette was on a strip tease show. Huh? A strip tease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. You actually believe that crap? How friggin' dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming it. The rumor about the midnight channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. 